Tonight, Austin's police chief is working to strengthen relationships and build trust in the community. Chief Brian Manley, his assistant chiefs and commanders stopped by several gatherings for National Night Out. KXAN's Chris Davis was with Chief Manley as he addressed concerns from neighbors in East Austin. Where's your little hat? You gotta keep your hat on. Carolyn Velasquez is here to help bridge gaps. The kids already know each other, but we want to know the residents. She's the president of the Residence Council here at Booker T. Washington Terraces. One of the gaps in this neighborhood, she says, is between people who live here and police. There is a lot of residents here that like take care of one another and scared that the police might do something. She means something to make the situation worse. Now why don't you call us and let us go over there and ask them what they're doing. What do you think? Chief That's Brian Manley idea, is right? here to help bridge gaps too. I pick the ones where I'm hoping to get to interact with a lot of the community and hopefully address concerns, questions, or issues that they have. In the 11 months he's you been interim sticker? chief, Manley says he's worked to build on the relationships Eight. Chief Art Acevedo built before him. And he realizes something like National Night Out isn't necessarily the best way to do that. We're working with communities to identify events that already exist, meetings that are already taking place that we can attend with them instead of having them come to us. Bye, mamacita. Velasquez says she likes Manly so far. She's hopeful a continued presence like the one tonight will help convince the people here. We got our fire engine people behind us and our police department. Chris Davis, KXAN News. And Chief Manley says he would like to continue serving as the full-time police chief when a new city manager starts the search. Right now, Austin police are working to improve community policing. A report released last August found the department only spends about 22% of its time on community policing. The recommended time is 35 to 45%. But that's better than it used to be in Austin. The department blames staffing and not being able to keep up. APD had 94 openings as of mid-September. But Chief Manley says they should be close to fully staffed by the end of this year. The Cedar Park Police Department says they will have their national night out next Tuesday. They had to cancel today's event because of the rain. Round Rock PD and the Williamson County Sheriff's Office also canceled their national nights out because of weather. No word yet on when they might host them.